Right, we've got a idle ICOS which doesn't seem to want to fire up. All right, let's have a look. Uh, the case off. Uh, U gauge. or not been opened in a while. Inlet test point. Okay, so we've got a blip there. So gas valve's opening. Let's just do that again. Standing pressure. Right, that should blip down. Okay, gas valve's opening. Right, let's have a look at the electrodes. Again, going to check the spot generator. Make sure we've got power going to it. Yep. I've right, got 230 going to it. Let's see if we've got 230 coming out of it. Waiting for it to go through sinks ignition process again. We've got life to the pump. Just need that to light up when it goes again. Out. See if we get a spark. Right, so I've got this spark plug tester on there. So let's fire that up again. And we want to see a nice big red light on there. That will confirm if that's working or not. Nah, see? That is a very dim light on there. Do that again. Yeah. 
not giving us a solid red light on there. So yeah, faulty spark generator. Let's see if we can go and grab one. Right, back, got the new spark generator. So let's get that swapped over. This magnetic wristband is a proper lifesaver, you know. It's just handy not having to lose, you know, where am I going to put the screws? Oh, well, look, that's just crumbled. Right, so let's take that off completely. says he didn't want to drop the screw. I hope you guys can see because I don't know if this is getting in the way. in and now right, let's try that again oh would help if I put the power cable in right, let's see what that does so now we should see a solid or a stronger red light on there Hopefully the boiler should fire now. See that? Burner's lit. Flame's rectified. Job done. On to the next one. <laughs> 